do you think they deserve to win the game this evening, Richard? Um, or, or is it a case that it doesn't really matter if you deserve to win a final w w I mean, w when you win one? Yeah, Fiorentina didn't do enough to win it, I don't think, either. West Ham gave them all of the ball. They allowed them to have it. So for West Ham, they'll say, our game plans worked perfectly. We didn't think we'd have lots of chances. We didn't think we'd have lots of the ball. So what we've set out to do, we've achieved. Fiorentina, I think... When you look at the competition and you go through it, all the teams are mid-table teams from their respective mm. countries. And the normal with those sort of teams is they haven't got the quality up front to really open up decent defenders. And West Ham worked that out as the tournament went on. And tonight was just was just another one of those performances where they did what they thought was enough to win the game. And regardless of whether people think they deserve it or not, they're going to be picking up the trophy. Yeah, they? and it, look, it, I mean... I think we were watching the game. You said, look, if they don't win it, uh, it people will look at Moyes and, and say that's the reason why West Ham might want to go in a change of direction. Yeah. And might see, want to see something a bit more expansive. But then on <laughs> the flip side, now they've got a trophy sitting in the cabinet. And, yeah, and that's it. And it's like, now, when, when it was going on the game, you're thinking, you can understand because they should really go out and take the, take the game by the horns and go and win the match instead of just playing the way they played. But they got the result that they needed. Now you're starting to think, what can they do next year to improve on that? And as, as David Moyes brought them to a peak in terms of what, what's, what's, I what's think the end goal? To, I think he wants to play. I think he is trying to... He, David, David Moyes keeps up with the trends in the game. He's very uh, studious in going to conferences. He works on the, the uh, UEFA Technical Committee studying, studying championships, doing reports and so on. He, and he keeps up with the trends in the game. He'd have wanted West Ham to move on, but they were involved in a struggle this year where they were worn out by last year, getting the semi-final of the Europa League, the number of games they played. And then the players that they signed just didn't adapt to Premier League. Some of the important ones, Aguard was bet, was good tonight. He was injured early in the season. Then when he got started, yeah. uh, come back after World Cup Morocco, a lot of them didn't do it. So maybe like the start of next season, if he stays, it could be a different start, even without Royce.